I need to spread this message of Allah. Let me go further. Moments ago, we heard Umar Isa deliver a beautiful song about the incident of Ta'if. Assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum salam. May peace be upon you, upon you be peace. Bismillah, assalamu alaikum, peace and love my family, whoever you are, wherever you are, you are my family. Smile, you might ask why, because it will make you feel better. Hello, people. <laughs> so fam, another day, another trip abroad, alhamdulillah, thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Today, I am going to Qatar. Halal Bibi, can you come here please? Are you going to miss me? You always ask me the always ask me. Hey boy, you gonna miss me? Wawa? They wanna know about Islam? We'll give them. They wanna know what Muslim does? We'll give them. Woo! So thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my master, my majesty, my king. I'm going to be performing in the Middle East for the first time of my nasheed career. My short nasheed career, subhanAllah. Thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Man, amazing. I can't wait to take you guys with me. Like I do. Fam, before anything, Follow me on all my social media. It's all in the description below. Please follow me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, everything inshallah. Support me, support this movement, man. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Share this video. Watch this video fully until the end. I love you all for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I can't wait to go on this journey with you guys. I'm gonna miss Ibu and Halala, baby. I miss you, man. Alhamdulillah, time for flights being delayed. But I had to pray my maghrib. Salah so is fair, Salah so is beautiful. It gives you ease in your heart, man. And especially before you're gonna travel, SubhanAllah. I'm still praying on the chair um, because of my hip. Make dua for me. Inshallah, I can pray standing and going to Sijud to my Allah, SubhanAllah. Yeah. Prayer area. Alhamdulillah. My bag. Oh, oh, oh. Got it. Alhamdulillah. I have arrived in Doha, Qatar. Alhamdulillah. Family, I've arrived in my hotel room. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Oh, fam, let's do the room tour, yeah? I haven't even properly seen the room yet. That's how much I love you guys for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm gonna do the room tour and do my own eye tour with you guys. So I am in the Millennium Hotel in Doha. Yeah, and basically, um, this is the bed. TV. I never watch TV in hotel rooms, bro. I don't know why. Oh, guess what? Guess what, fam? You know when a hotel's the best, yeah? It's when they've got an iron. And an ironing board. Yeah, now. The most important part of any hotel room is the bathroom, bro. Yeah, because that... Where's the light, bruv? Where's the light, bruv? This is, this is haram, bruv. Oh, I found it. It's that thing there. But bathroom ceiling light or bathroom mirror light, it's giving you an option. Bathroom mirror light or bathroom ceiling light. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh, my gosh. What a beauty. Ooh. Ooh. Obviously it's a Muslim country. You don't need a water bottle. Because it has the necessary tools. Ding. So that's the room, hotel room tour. Yes, 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 yes. It's Friday, we're gonna go Juma, inshallah. Fam, I'm walking the streets of Doha with my guy, my brother, Mr. Faisal. Sure. How long have you been here for? Seven years now. And uh, tell, tell the fam, what, what do you do here? What, what's your job? Um, I work in a telecommunication company. Oh, sick. So, yeah, I've been here for seven years. Alhamdulillah. And sister, sister your wife's a teacher, isn't it? Teacher, yeah, in a school over here. Alhamdulillah. So, it's been nice. Thanks, Allah SWT. We're in a Muslim country. We are going to Jummah now, Alhamdulillah. So let's do this, inshallah. Ta'ala. And I'm probably thinking people are going to look at us and thinking, what's this guy doing with the camera in his hand? I'm vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> on our way to the masjid. So Juma is finished. SubhanAllah, that was Aspire Masjid. 
and uh, Sheikh Makhathi was actually giving the khutbah subhanallah Sheikh Makhathi is going to be at the event as well at the Qatara I'm speaking lethargic right I sound like I'm tired I am tired one and I'm hot <laughs> yeah and number three I'm thirsty we are at the venue alhamdulillah it is absolutely amazing check that out I'll be performing back there right there yeah it's amazing man it's outdoor as you can see alhamdulillah it's called the Qatara Amphitheatre and uh, yeah, I just did a sound check. I'm sorry I couldn't take you along with the sound check, but inshallah I'll get um, Faisal to film the performance. But yeah, apart from that, it's blessed, bro. Alhamdulillah, it's really, really amazing. Like, you, you, do I need to say anymore? Like, I feel like I'm one of those Roman guys, you know? You know, lend me your ears. <laughs> so yeah, it's amazing, man. Alhamdulillah. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow the performance to be blessed. I mean, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow it to be smooth. I mean, and let it be successful, inshallah ta'ala. So yeah, so it's beautiful, man. Outdoor, it's amazing. So yeah, go, go back to the hotel now, get changed, and come back. Okay, fam, so I'm gonna do a little special segment in this video, right? SubhanAllah, this is al Faizan Thob, fam. I'm not saying this, yeah? Just because I know the brother is a blessed brother and I love the concept that he has of thobes. This is one of the best thobes I've ever worn. Wallahi, it's beautiful. Like, look how trim, proper is, alhamdulillah. Al Faizan, and guess what? Because I'm your brother, I'm doing a vibe for you, innit? So if you go and purchase one of these, type in Umar Isa and you get a 15% discount. Everything is in the description below, right? Go to their website, www.alfaizan.com, and I'm gonna also link their Instagram and their pages on social media. Follow them, support them. We have to support Muslim businesses, you get me? Faisal, do you not think it's really important to support Muslim businesses? Yeah, we should be helping each other out, definitely. Al Faizan, blessed though, blessed brother. I met the brother, alhamdulillah, he's a beautiful brother. He's got a vision to give people Islamic clothing in a beautiful way. And like me, I want to give nasheeds in a beautiful Islamic way. So we connected, alhamdulillah. Time to go to the performance with my brother. Have all taken pride in belonging to the community of the Prophet sallallahu Have all been in awe. Have Help the Prophet Sallallahu in respect and admiration. What can I say to kick off such a beautiful program over two nights? A Nasheed singer by the will of Allah and now uses his talent to spread the beautiful deen, the beautiful teachings and the beautiful religion of Islam through Nasheeds in English, Arabic and Urdu. All the way from UK to the shores of Doha to this beautiful amphitheater my dear brothers and sisters, I welcome Brother Omar Aisa. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. First our name, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most just, the most kind, the most compassionate, the Lord of the Honorable Throne, the Lord of the Alameen, the King of Kings, the Master and of the Heavens, the Earth and the Universe. And I send my peace and blessings on the beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum. It's a beautiful, beautiful honor to be here, alhamdulillah. It's my, um, I perform many places around the world, thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but it's my first time in the Middle East. Alhamdulillah, it's a beautiful, beautiful pleasure to be here, alhamdulillah, in Qatar, Doha. So um, I can't wait to, you know, uh, give you my nasheed, inshallah, praising my master, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and his beloved messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So I've never performed where, subhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's sky is, you know, right above me, subhanAllah. I've never performed outside ever. And it's quite, um, it's, it's, it's quite, um, subhanAllah, it's quite um, emotional, subhanAllah. Because especially the nasheed I'm going to do now, and I always do it wherever I go, praising my master, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this nasheed is called Alhamdulillah. And I always do it. Wherever I go, doesn't matter how many times I've been there, I always perform it. Because my job is to praise my master, my king, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is the nasheed, Alhamdulillah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Everything I have, everything I own, everything I eat, it stands to you. Every breath I take, every bird I hear, every smile I see, it stands to you. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, 
Alhamdulillah All thanks is to Allah Alhamdulillah 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 All thanks is to Allah Everything is thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala My King, my Master, my Majesty Jazakallah uh, you know, my brothers and sisters, you know, uh, my, like my brother was telling you, obviously, uh, I'm a voice only in the I don't use instruments, I don't use beatboxing, I don't, use the, I don't even use a duff. Uh, I left uh, a world of uh, jahaliya. I was a musician, I was a pop singer, R&B singer. I wanted to be, you know, go, I wanted to sing in Hollywood, I wanted to sing in Bollywood. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided me in 2011. Allah brought me to the light. I was in a very dark place. And today I stand here and I'm like, alhamdulillah, I'm praising my master, my majesty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm from London, subhanAllah. And if you saw me in the past, you'd think, subhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so merciful. And we know that because we, our own life, we do things and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives and forgives and forgives. SubhanAllah. We are the one who wrong. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always with us. So the next session I'm going to do, inshallah ta'ala, my brothers and sisters, this is, you know, a conference about our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, about his life. There was a story I once heard about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that wallahi I didn't know. As I said, I've, I, I came to the religion in 2011. I didn't know nothing about this beautiful religion. And when I heard this story, wallahi I cried and cried and cried. And every time I used to hear the story, I used to cry and cry and cry. Aisha radiallahu once asked Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, what was the hardest moment of your life? Was it the battle of Uhud? He said, no, it was a day of da'if. And I just have one request when I do this in Sheed, inshallah. I just want you to really, please, 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 just listen to the words. When I, when I wrote this, I wanted to convey in the way I do, thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through my nasheeds, this story, which is the biggest tragedy in history. SubhanAllah. So... That's my request, inshallah. Okay, so the nasheed is called the story of Ta'if. Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. As he left the streets of Mecca, he was trying to find a home. A place for the believer, leaving their troubles behind. As he walked through the desert, he was thinking about his life. Ten years into revelation, it was a trying test in time. He had just lost his wife, Khadija Um al Mu'mini, and he also lost Abu Dhabi, his protector from Quraysh. We'll never know the burden on his shoulders. The message came from up above. He struggled for you and I Rasulullah Hari Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Rasulullah Hari Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam even at the time, the religion, and this is what I want us to think about. How did the religion of Jesus, Isa alayhi salam, which was the religion of Tawheed, which was the religion of Tawheed, it was the religion of Islam. Jesus, Isa alayhi salam, preached Islam. He preached La ilaha illallah. Everyone's going through problem. People say, I have financial difficulty. Tell me who doesn't. I met a wealthy man three weeks ago, very wealthy. He told me business is no longer as it was. I said, just thank Allah. Thank Allah. That's it. It doesn't mean anything has happened or hasn't happened in terms of superstition. Here is the prophet, peace be upon him. He lost his wife. He was sad. He lost his uncle. He was sad. He decided, you know what? I need to spread this message of Allah. 
Let me go further. Moments ago, we heard Umar Isa deliver a beautiful song about the incident of Ta'if. What happened in Ta'if? The Prophet, peace be upon him, decided, let me go to Ta'if. If the people of Mecca are not listening, perhaps the people of Ta'if might hear. It was worse. When he went to Ta'if, they didn't just reject. No, they rejected together with throwing stones and chasing and making the most blessed droplets of blood ever to exist. Actually, subhanallah, bleed. And thereafter, the angels come and say, if you ask us to crush them, they will be crushed. If you ask us to bring the two mountains together, they will be brought together. What would you do? A guy from down the road who's been disturbing you with his motor vehicle and a big noise every night when you're trying to sleep. Imagine for a moment an angel came to you and said, we can crush him. You say, crush him and his father. <laughs> That's, that's how far we've gone from the sunnah of the Prophet, peace be upon him. May Allah forgive us. But the Prophet, peace be upon him, he told the angels, No, if Allah hasn't guided them, perhaps he will guide their offspring. Have hope. Look at the hope he has. He has hope that the next generation, and Allah showed him already, it wasn't even the next generation. Those guys themselves, sometime later, accepted Islam, a lot of them. Today go to Ta'if Muslimin, mashallah. My Allah is the one, the one, the one, the one. Mashallah, Allah. May Allah subhanahu bless you all. I'll see you tomorrow, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. That was an amazing event, Alhamdulillah. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, amazing. Tomorrow, repeat, inshallah. Fraz, Fraz Taz. Exactly. Fiesel. Fiesel? That, the V show is called Fiesel. Yeah, V show. V show, if you're watching this, we both hate you. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> no, but it was, the event, you know, the whole uh, atmosphere was great. Yeah. I mean, even the crowd was really nice. Yeah, every show was amazing, Alhamdulillah. Tomorrow is going to be a vibe, inshallah. Inshallah. So, fam, I've had no sleep. I'm tired. I've had like literally came in the morning here as you know and I'm just jet lagged. I'm not jet lagged, but I'm tired. But it's gonna be good now because I'm gonna get into a normal sleeping pan. Inshallah I'll wake up a fudge pray fudge. Go back to sleep again. Fam, this is my hotel. Well my hotel room is that. I wanna hold Anyway, allow me, yeah. Fudge was talking to his brother. He's finding a grilled food place. Ooh, fancy, fancy lift. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I agree. Mm, interesting. Smoking. Mm, I don't like smoking. All right, smoking. Lebanese. We'll check out. So we are at the Pearl, yeah? Me and Frazadas. I should say your name to Frazadas. <laughs> Mr. Faisal, my brother. Yeah. yeah, and this is the Pearl. It's like a really rich area. As you can tell, yeah? There's like yachts. There's rich Arab dollars, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The Arab dollars. Which, uh, they can, um, if you are a rich uh, Arab dollar keeper, you can lend me money. Send it to um, uh, P.O. Box. <laughs> Give me some money, Omar Isa. <laughs> or if you have a serious request, bookings at omarisa.com. Yeah. We won't say no. We will say no for certain things, but we. Okay, anyway, let's move on quickly. What are you saying, Ronaldo? You good, yeah? So good. Yeah, 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 it's all good, bruv. So, yeah, what's, what's life like? Oh, you're just chilling, you know, in Qatar, a, a Real Madrid shop. Okay, that's interesting. But the question is, why bias? Where's Barcelona shop? Even though I am a Ronaldo fan, I think Ronaldo is much better than Messi. I am the Ronaldo guy. So you know the Messi-Ronaldo debate? I go with Ronaldo every day of the week. Fight are you? Ronaldo. Definitely. You're a Ronaldo guy as well? Ronaldo fan, definitely. Spud me, spud me, spud me. Jeez. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect Muslim countries, I mean. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect England, I mean. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect every country that's good to its people, I mean. I haven't had anything to eat. I'm hungry. I just had water. So inshallah ta'ala, we're gonna enjoy some food. I'm gonna head to the amphitheater for day number two of performance. Today I'm gonna to be performing Subhanallah, Hello, and Assalamu Alaikum to finish the event off, inshallah ta'ala. So far it's been blessed, man. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. The food has arrived. Mr. Faisal is prepared for his food. This is a beautiful masjid here. 
you know, where the event is at Katara Amphitheatre Place. This is a masha that's here. Look how beautiful it is, subhanAllah. Wow. Faisal, what is this, um, what is this mashad called? This is Katara Masjid. Is it actually called Katara Masjid? Uh, no. What? <laughs> yeah, but it's beautiful, right? Alhamdulillah. It's like really special mashad, Alhamdulillah. Like, wow, Alhamdulillah. Look at that. Well, you know I give you the mashad tours and I want to take you to a couple of more mashads as well, inshallah. This is how we Nasheed artists travel these days, yeah? So we're traveling like, you know, traveling like, like this is like backstage, like, to yeah, exactly. almost a concert, bruv. Yeah, the like, buggy vibes. Going to the stadium now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, brother. That was sick. Alhamdulillah, that was our brother right there. We did our ting right there. Guys, what were you thinking, bro? I was thinking, how many for today? No. Alhamdulillah. Yesterday was amazing. No. Uh, very well, so today is going to be amazing. Really it's amazing, it's amazing. Allah, your love is all I need. Allah, you've given so much to me. Allah, so I bow down on my knees. Oh, Subhanallah. Subhanallah, Subhanallah, all glory be to you. Subhanallah, 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 all glory be to you. So Mughira says, Ya Omar. Mata Rasulullah Omar, the Prophet has died. So Omar said, Kadabt, you're lying. Inna rajulun tahusuka fitna. You're a man engulfed in fitna. The Prophet hasn't died. And as he heard more and more the news that the Rasul has died, the, he became emotional and took his sword. Whoever says that the Prophet has died, I will cut off his head. And Uthman ibn Affan became numb. Ali ibn Abi Talib fell on, his, on the ground. And in this process, bewilderment has gripped everyone. What is happening? And the, the reality is too difficult to consume and the hope too faint to hold on to. And in this commotion, Abu Bakr Siddiq enters the city and knocks at the house, asks permission to enter. The wives of the Rasul cover. He enters, goes to the blessed body of the Rasul, and looking at him says, Wa Khalila, ah, my dear friend. Wa Khalila. And then he says, Wa Safiya, oh, the one who was chosen by the heavens. Wa Safiya. And then he says, Wa Nabiya. Oh, the messenger of Allah. And then he kissed his forehead and said, The death that Allah wrote for you, you have tasted it. And Allah will not let you die twice in what the son of Khattab says is not correct. So he came out of the house, entered the masjid. And people see Abu Bakr enter and Umar is screaming. So Abu Bakr said, Ijlis ya Umar. Ala rislika ya Umar, sit Umar, and Umar won't listen. So Abu Bakr walked to the member, stood up, and gave his timeless words of advice. O Muslims, if you worshipped Muhammad, understand that Muhammad has died. And if you worshipped Allah, Allah is eternal and doesn't die. And then he recited the verse. And Muhammad is not but a messenger. Before him, messengers were created. If he were to die or is killed, would you turn back on your heels? Would you leave the deen? Would you go astray? One, two, three. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. May he be upon you. Upon you. Mashallah, tabarakallah, mashallah. So children, children, before I go, I want to say one thing. You have to say yes, okay? Are you going to say yes? Yes. You, 
always, always, always be good to your mom and dad. Allahu Akbar. That wasn't very convincing, was it? Okay, children, let's do it again. Always say yes really loudly. Make them happy. Always be good to your mom and dad. Yes! May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you, children. You're the future of this beautiful religion of Islam. I'm your brother Umar Isa. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The event is done, fam. I'm here at my brother Faisal's house. It's a beautiful place, alhamdulillah. There's a Mr. Faisal, he just fed me. Again, I want to give a shout out to Al Faisal Chupas. So comfortable. This one just looks so, so slick. Alhamdulillah. Faisal, what do you think about the, my Al Faisal Chupa brother? Really nice, man. Give a critique of it. What do you think of it, though? Yeah, I think it's really good. It's good quality as well. <laughs> so, um, again, yeah, go in the description below. Follow them on Instagram. Follow them on their social media. It's in the link below. Also, as I said before, when I was wearing the, the grey one today, I'm wearing the white one. <laughs> Promo code. Okay, get your discount now. Write in Umar Isa and you get a 15% discount, subhanAllah, yeah? And you know, alhamdulillah, if this, I think this vlog is out in Ramadan. It's Ramadan now. It's Ramadan, it's Ramadan now. Not, not now, not, not now, but you, for you it is now. Get your gifts for your husbands, for your brothers. For other males in your family, sisters, do that. Brothers, buy it for yourself, buy it for your brothers. Or Marisa, 15% off. Brothers and sisters, you know it's a sunnah to start your own business. And my brother, Al Faizan, he started his own business. He's told me about his story, I said it before. It was emotional, man. It was emotional. We have to support each other, like you guys support my nasheeds. You know, let's support every brother or sister. That's why whenever I go to a masjid, Faisal, whenever I go to a masjid and I see somebody selling atar, I make it my job to buy that atar because I know that that brother is working hard you know to to earn money for his family we got to support each other man right you agree with me I just want to show you the greatest sign in history probably not in history but I'm going to show you a great sign so that says please don't put dust <laughs> in the staircase <laughs> Faisal what kind of man do you have in your complex, bro? I don't know which man in the leg of bro. Who goes wrong again? It's just LMS. I'm not kind of the guy who did this, but I just put a made him do an announcement like that. Please don't put dust in the staircase. Oh, and the staircase is spelled wrong. <laughs> Spell. But I have the English not there first, how would that fine? I want to know who the dust thrower is. <laughs> hey, I want to know this dust thrower. I don't. We and you have to find the dust thrower. Okay? <laughs> and I'm not I'm not judging the man who wrote it. Because obviously some man had to do a job, so his 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 his, his manager said, said, tell me we're not the dust thrower. <laughs> Final day, full day in Qatar, and I'm taking you on a mini masjid tour. And the first masjid is here. But check that, check that skyline out behind me. Doa got it going on. That looks nice, yeah? You're liking that, innit, people? You're liking that, innit, people? But let me show you something even better than that. You think that's nice, yeah? That's a nice view, yeah? Okay, cool. But <laughs> isn't this better? Allahu Akbar. Look at that. This is called the night as well. It's the 99 Domes Masjid. SubhanAllah. But I don't actually know what the proper name is. Oh wow, look at that. Bam, look at that. It's like a big, beautiful courtyard. Beautiful masjid here, guys. Look at it, alhamdulillah, yeah? Alhamdulillah. Yeah, look at the shoe rack. <laughs> what? <laughs> How can somebody get excited with a shoe shot? Let me tell you why he's excited. Because fam, yeah, your shoes go in like that. <laughs> this is, a, he's a simple, mashallah, British Pakistani. <laughs> Beautiful mashallah, alhamdulillah. They're going to tell me to turn my camera off because I don't like cameras, but that's why I'm doing it quickly. Sorry fam, I couldn't do more in the mashallah, alhamdulillah. It's because they said that no cameras are allowed and also no bags are allowed, which I don't understand why. Because you could take your bags in Makkah, Medina, but anyway, man, people's rules in there, I don't understand them, bro. Subhanallah, but alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Sorry, I did get a little bit annoyed. You know, sometimes you do get annoyed. You know, because you just want to pray, I was going to miss my salah. You know, and I was like, bruv, like, like my passport's in my bag, bruv. You know, I, I trust you guys and all that, but I don't know you like that, you know. Anyway, I'm ranting. <laughs> Sorry. One thing I can't say, my brothers and sisters, is enjoy.
injustice, yeah. okay? And people who are not fair. It makes my blood boil. Honestly, it makes my blood boil, yeah? That's why the Muskeen brothers in there, they're just workers. That's why I didn't want to get angry with them. Because it's not their rules, they're just following yeah, exactly. rules. Just but I didn't understand the rule. Because I took this bag with me, yeah? I took this bag with me into Mecca, Medina. Mecca, Medina, Al-Aqsa. These are main mushrooms, all right? This is a beautiful mushroom, alhamdulillah, right? I only heard about it when I came to Qatar now. You know, subhanAllah, but I'm, you, you understand what I'm trying to say, yeah, fam? Faz, you get what I'm trying to say, innit? Yeah, definitely. You know, but there's nobody in the masjid. I just so don't know if, why. If, it, if it's a security risk, I'd understand if it was Juma or Eid, yeah. yeah? Or another kind of big congregation. But it's only me in there, innit? <laughs> so, we are leaving the masjid and now going to masjid number two on our tour. I took you to a masjid yesterday as well. Now we're going to Al Fanar Masjid. This is the masjid, alhamdulillah. Al Fanar, a beautiful masjid, one of the known masjids in Doha. And we are going to pray Maghrib. Al Fanar Masjid, alhamdulillah. The well known masjid in Doha, alhamdulillah. It's so beautiful. And um, this masjid's got a real peace, peaceful calm about it. Yeah, it, it has, does. isn't it? Alhamdulillah. It's just no. a really peaceful. blessed masjid, alhamdulillah. I came here once when I stopped over to Qatar when I came up from Pakistan. I had an event there and it had a vibe and it was Fajr time and it was beautiful. So, this, uh, yep, this is the masjid tour of Doha for you guys. Third masjid, alhamdulillah. So yeah, that's it. It was a little short little masjid tour, but we showed you three masjids, alhamdulillah. I know. Fam, I am with this guy still. This guy doesn't leave me alone, man. This guy, bro, he's actually sick of me, I think. Well, we're gonna go, and go to this restaurant now. We're gonna go to this I'm restaurant. Going to we're gonna be quick though, inshallah. We're gonna only sit there for about max probably 45 minutes an hour. Have some mint tea. Yeah. Yeah, those I'm there. And in English is this friendship we won't leave never this friendship we will never leave my friends this is my friend sometimes sometimes, sometimes. my friends Listen fam, I'm not listening to the music, okay? It's, I can't control the music in this place. Yeah, but just 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 look at the view, okay? Check that. Ooh, cheap! Oh, this is back fighting. Have you seen that view? Yeah, look Cheese! It's been a short, but quite a busy trip, right? Yeah. But yeah, but I just want you to appreciate the view. Alhamdulillah. Thanks for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's beautiful. You know, uh, again, apologies for the music. I don't understand what she's saying. Fam, fam, fam. I love you guys for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I hope you love this vlog. Um, please, you know, share it, watch it. Go to my Facebook, like my page. Go to my Instagram, follow me there. Go to my Twitter, follow me there. Subscribe to this page, inshallah ta'ala. Also, don't forget the Al Faizan deal. Get your jubbas now, inshallah ta'ala. I love you all for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's been amazing. Doha has been amazing. Everybody was amazing. A big shout out to my brother, my beautiful brother Faisal, who was with me this full trip, subhanAllah. Whenever I said I wanted to do something, he didn't even flinch. He just did whatever, alhamdulillah. What a blessed brother, alhamdulillah. I love him for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him and give him every happiness in this world and Jannah in the next. Say Ameen. Ameen. It was beautiful meeting all the shayukh again, alhamdulillah. I love them all for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's beautiful to be in the company of knowledge. I'm out of breath because I'm packing and I, I will get to the airport. But I wanted to say bye to you guys first. Also fam, don't forget to watch the new initiative. My heart will go on. It's my Muslim Virgil, alhamdulillah. We were in the booth and I, I, was, just, I was just like playing around and because I, because I know the track from years ago, right? And it just started flowing, and I started talking about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And me and Ramsey looked at each other, went, "We've got to do this," and we just did it. It was off the cuff. It was beautiful. I hope you loved it. You can download it for free on my soundcloudcom forward slash one Umar Isa. All in the description below, Subhanallah. But share my heart will go on, inshallah, the Muslim version by your brother Umar Isa. This is me signing out of Doha. Inshallah, I'll be back again to perform in the Middle East. Qatar, wherever in the Middle East, I can't wait, inshallah, but I can't wait to be back in Doha, Qatar, inshallah. So fam, don't forget to say subhanallah, alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, assalamu alaikum, peace and love my family, whoever you are, wherever you are, you are my family. Smile, you might ask why? Because it will make you feel better. Also, this vlog is out in Ramadan, 
hope you all having a blessed Ramadan use this month it's the best month of the year use it to your benefit inshallah ask Allah for forgiveness ask Allah for whatever you want deeds are multiplied 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 subhanallah Ramadan Kareem I love you all peace